Many Israeli television shows have made their way by now onto American television. However, this is the first time ever that an Israeli version of the show premieres after the American one. Before the surgery, the film was taken hostage. We are following the latest right now. The president was scheduled to have surgery today. You can't be any part of this. For first-time series creators Rotem Shamir and Omri Givon, the whole process has been overwhelming, especially the fact that their show was sold to the U.S. even before they secured a broadcaster in Israel. It's, a f it's the first time that an Israeli show is being sold on paper, uh, meaning it's before it was produced and uh, it's already been sold, and then it's basically being produced at the same time there and here, so that will be a first time, yes. Eventually the concept is the same concept. It's not a big concept. The concept here is about people being trapped in a house. So in that sense, the show is the same show. And it was very interesting to see how basically the same scenes are being shot here and there, and the difference will be, I, I would guess, in the amount of trucks that are parked outside of the scene. So the scene is not very big, it's two people talking, but then when you exit the, the set here it will be two trucks and there will be 200 trucks. So that's kind of the difference. We have in the pilot same lines, same shots, same scene, even like the coat that uh, Tony Collette and here Raelle Zorer is wearing is the same coat. The character uh, look like, you know, <laughs> like the children and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty much like the same series. Follow my instructions and no one will get hurt. Ironically, both main actors of the shows are Israelis who have been working for years in Hollywood and who could have just as easily been cast in the American version of the show. We both wanted to work back home. Uh, Omri came and asked me three years ago, he said he'd written a script with me in mind and would I work on it and I said yeah. And uh, knowing that it takes a lot of time for these things to get okayed and it finally did and I was happy to hear it. And I yell it, um, I mean, I don't know, we've been working for about the same amount of years, me and Ayelet, just in parallel projects. And when I heard that she was coming, she was flying in to do it, it was just great news. It just kind of happened, just kind of happened. I mean, at the core, we're actors from here, so, so it's nice to be able to come back home and, uh, and do some work. We wanted to find out from Ayelet Zorer, who plays the title character, how realistic she finds the plot of her show. That was not the question we never asked ourselves. Um, for me, the bigger question was how can I play this woman because her choice is so different from what I would have chosen if I if I was in her shoes, I think, because I'm not a hero. Maybe I'm gutsy, but I'm not a, that courageous. He, she's doing something beyond my understanding, and it took me a while to, to really dig in and understand what was that thing because she's putting in danger something that to me was impossible to understand, which is to put your family in danger so you don't hurt anybody else. Um, and this whole thing is round about, you know, ra rounding this um, idea. Um, so it was really hard for me to s understand where it came from. Hostages on CBS is quickly becoming one of the biggest hits of the fall season, so the Israeli creators are already anxiously waiting the call from Hollywood that their show has been picked up for the very coveted second season. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Israeli Hostages premiere in Jerusalem.